we found this piece on Facebook Marketplace for a pretty good price. Um, so we ended up driving about an hour round trip just to pick it up. But it was in pretty good condition and we already knew what we wanted to do with it. So it was worth it. We started by removing the hardware and then we used a 80 grit sandpaper to remove the finish off the top and the top three drawers. We sanded down the exterior sides of the drawer as well to make them smooth and then continued and scuff sanded the rest of the piece. 
The bottom left corner had a chip out of it, but thankfully they had included the little chip in a sandwich bag for us. So we just removed the rest that was kind of peeling and about to come off and used tight bond wood glue and some tape to hold it in place and glued that back in, which we would later come back over and fill in all the gaps. Before applying stain, we cleaned the sanded areas with mineral spirits and then used Minwax pre-stain wood conditioner all over the piece and just applied it per the instructions on the can. We then used Minwax stain in the color Provincial to stain the top and the top three drawers and because things never go as expected, the stain just didn't quite take the way we wanted it to and especially on the drawers, you could really still see the hardware. So although our original plan was to go with a dark top and paint the rest of the piece white, we had to do a change of plans and decided to do a whitewash over the stained portion we just did and go with a nice deep blue color for the rest of the piece. We used Dixie Bell's Dixie Mud in brown to fill in any of the spaces or gaps where there were chips and gouges. For the whitewash, we used Annie Sloan chalk paint in the color Old White, and it had been sitting for a while, really needed a good stirring, so Ryan came up with this nifty trick to get in the bottom and really get the sticky stuff that needed to be mixed up good. For our whitewash, we just mix a bit of the paint with some water to water it down and get just a thin consistency. We then brush it on and let it sit for a few seconds and then immediately wipe it off with a cloth. We just use an old t-shirt.
And this is just a shot of the Dixie Mud as it dries. So you can see the dark spots are where it was still wet and the lighter spots was where it had already dried. And then once it was completely dry, we went back and sanded it down smooth so that it creates a nice finish with no blemishes on the piece of furniture. For the rest of the piece, we painted it with Annie Sloan's chalk paint in one of the deep blue colors and ended up applying two coats. The first coat we watered down a little bit more and just to get a little better coverage on the second coat, we actually didn't water that one down. Um, it's a pretty thick paint. It's not our favorite to work with and it does take about 24 hours to dry between coats, but the color did turn out really nice. So that's always a plus. Then, because we were going with a rustic look on this piece, we started to distress certain areas of the dresser, focusing on corners and edges, and then going back and applying some scuff marks all over the piece, just so it had like a worn, distressed, kind of farmhouse look to it. Then we applied a top coat using Dixie Belle's clear coat in a flat finish over the entire piece and just applied it using a brush and it ended up doing two coats on the top just so it was a little extra durable because that's where the piece is going to get the most traffic. We spray painted the hinges black so they'd match the new hardware.
Then we attached all the new hardware. We then use Dixie Bell's Big Mama's Butter on the drawer slides. Wait, 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 wait. Before you get to see the finished piece, we just like to say thanks for watching the flipping video. And we have some super exciting news coming to rest and dust into our channel. So this is actually the last piece that you guys are going to see us flip in this house. So if you want to see the new space that we're going to be in, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you can see our next video. Go ahead and give us a thumbs up <laughs> and hit that notification bell so you get notified when we post another one. Thank y'all. See you guys next time. Wait, 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 wait. Before you see the finished piece, I don't remember what I'm supposed to say. I can't see you. I don't know where to go. I can't see you. A little T-Rex on me. I told him time lapse wouldn't catch him doing anything silly, but he had to prove me wrong. And then I proceeded to not realize that clearly putting pegs in is really hard. Wait, wait, wait. Before you get to see the finished product. This side over. <laughs>